Opening day is finally here. Blue Jay fans rejoice. We're about 50-odd minutes away from first pitch between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Tampa Bay Rays. And it's been a long time coming. We were getting to that stage of spring training where the games were starting to feel like a grind. We were seeing a lot of players that maybe weren't going to feature on the Blue Jays team this year, but... We're finally here. The moment has arrived. A lot of hype heading into the season. Maybe not as much as years past for this Blue Jays group, but I think that's a blessing in disguise. I think them not having too much expectation going into the year is going to help them out a lot. And I just can't wait to see some real meaningful baseball. We're going to see it in just under an hour. And Nick... I cannot wait. And by the way, this uh, this video is also sponsored stream, stream. by Rentals.ca. This live stream is sponsored by Rentals.ca. So shout out to them. They've been a big supporter of our channel. We'll have more on that later on in the show as well. But Nick, they, they've been a big supporter of this channel. Each and every one of you in this live stream has been a big supporter of this channel as well. So shout out to you guys. And can't wait for some real meaningful baseball to get underway soon. We're finally here. What's up, Leanna, Shane, Gay, Mo, Nick, everyone who we uh, we recognize. It's great to be back on the streams. And, Peter, it's uh, it's been a long time coming, and there's a lot of stuff to go over. Obviously, we have about uh, 40, 45 minutes, and then first pitch will be shortly after that. And it's going to be an interesting season. We have, obviously, the roster to go over. There were some moves, which we'll also cover in the video later. But, Peter, it's here. Uh, the Angels are playing right now. I, well, thank you, Leanna. We have the Jays about to start, and expectations are lower than usual for the Toronto Blue Jays. I think this might be the year. Maybe I'm getting my ex my hopes too high. What's up, Mo? How you, hopefully you're doing well. Um, maybe my expectations are too high, but it feels like it's the it's the year. It's good. It's good to have high expectations and and set the bar high because honestly, this Blue Jays team has underperformed. We're not going to kid ourselves here. They haven't met expectations. Uh, in the past couple of years and, and years dating back to that. So now's the time. It's enough. It's enough now. they they got to be able to step it up and uh, hopefully um, hopefully they can get it done. That, that's all I'm going to say. I mean, it's a long season. It's going to be a grind, especially to start the year. But who knows, man? Who knows? Dream big. Dream big. We, we're not aiming for 85 wins here this regular season. We're aiming for more than that. And... Most importantly, we're aiming for some playoff success as well. Yeah, and I mean, oh, I'm very, very excited. I don't know. I don't even know how to feel about everything. It feels like we're finally here. Everyone's at, We haven't been live in a while, so we're going to be going live more often, obviously, throughout the regular season than we did in the uh, in the off season. aside from that Otani stuff. Do we think 95 to 100 wins? We can get into some predictions as well. We have some time. Peter, let's just start with, uh, with a couple things, and let's get this out of the way first. So we can start with some of the moves they made. I mean, Yasser Zuleta was DFA'd, and you can kind of see the, the final roster for the Blue Jays. And then, of course, we have the starting lineup, and let's touch on this. So we have exactly what we kind of predicted in our videos, and I think our video yesterday or the day before, and off stream as well, Springer, Vladdy, uh, Bo, so that's kind of the big switch up there is Vladdy and Bo. Then you have the normal guys, well, not new, normal, uh, Turner, Varsho, Kiermaier, Kirk, Connor, Vlefa, Biggio. Do you like it? Do you think it's uh, competitive? What do you think about this lineup? I like the, the first, I think it's going to be, uh, I think it might even be better offensively than last season considering how poorly we performed. Uh, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting, Nick, because you have a lot of guys that are in more elevated roles than they were last year, and that's not necessarily good news for, for some Jays fans. But you look at Dalton Varsho, he was primarily a 7-8 hitter last year. Now he's bumped up to the number 5 spot. He's had a really good spring, stealing bases, putting the bat on the ball, taking his walks. I think he's poised and he's ready for that number 5 spot. Kevin Kiermaier is another interesting name. Not... I mean, you know what you're getting out of Meyer. He's he's been in the league for a long time. He's a veteran player, but you know, maybe maybe there's a little bit more in there in his bat. Maybe there's a little bit more for him to provide in terms of power, and he did show that in spring training as well. And, and excuse my uh, camera. I don't know. I don't know if I'm freezing up here, Nick. A little bit. The internet's a little bit. That's okay though. It's the, yeah. it's the first stream back. We'll uh, we'll, yeah. we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, all right. Well, 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 we'll try to get that sorted. But, but yeah, I think there's a little bit more in terms of power that Kevin Kiermaier can provide to this team, and that's going to be helpful. 
And uh, the new additions, Kevin Biggio is going to be an everyday player, most likely, as long as he contributes. And Isaiah kiner Falefa as well. So th- there's a lot of different storylines to look out for early on in this season. But the biggest one for me, Nick, is going to be how the bullpen holds up with the Eric Swanson and Jordan Romano injuries. Again, everyone is going to get pushed up a peg, and they're going to have to do a little bit more in those high-leverage situations. So I'm expecting uh, big contributions early from Chad Green, uh, Jimmy Garcia, Tim Mazo, of course, and Hennessy Cabrera. Yeah, all the usual guys there, and we saw Yazra Zuleta get DFA, but the bullpen is going to be a little bit rough for a little bit of time. We'll be doing play-by-play. We won't be doing play-by-play uh, today. We won't be doing that. Uh, what do you think will happen to Votto this season? I think he comes up at some point, but uh, not right now. I think Varsho as well is going to be a big <clears throat> a big player going forward for the, uh, for the team. I mean, there's just a lot of things here, and I don't know what the projected wins for the Blue Jays were or is this season, or the over under on their wins. Uh, but eighty six and a half. Yeah, eighty six so, and a half. So that's a pretty tough number. It, it might be. It's, I'd say probably the. I'll probably hit the over on that. But I don't know. There's just so many storylines here with this lineup, and uh, I'm excited. I'm a little bit. I'll ask you, Peter. Do you think the offense is going to be better than last year? Obviously, the the personnel arguably is worse, but just how everyone underperformed last year, I feel like it could get a little bit better just from natural progression from uh i think vladdy's gonna have a big year if anyone i think vladdy's gonna be the one yeah well it's hard to be much worse than they were last year as well so so i look at all those factors and the players underperforming i think kirk got a, a real late start to spring training last year he he never really got in the groove uh, he was a silver slugger winner in 2022 and he looked like uh, looked like a below average hitter last season. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. was slightly above league average, which is by his standards, it's not good. It's not good. Let's just put it that way. And you're going to need more from those guys that you relied upon heavily last year. I think they're going to be better. I think they're going to be a much better lineup this year. Um, and I do expect a huge bounce back out of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I, I mean, we've been talking about it for the last two off seasons. Uh, it hasn't come to fruition. I mean, we thought his 2022 was bad considering his 2021 numbers, but then he managed to take another step back in 2023. So is he going to be able to regain his form, his MVP caliber play? I think he can. I think he has to because he's costing himself a lot of money if he doesn't. And he's his back is against the wall now. He's come in in great shape he had a great spring he led all qualified hitters of spring training in batting average and on base percentage he's right there i think he's poised for a huge year what's up let's get gaming hope you're doing well mo is taking the under on the wins okay Uh, i could definitely see the the reason for the first 10 games shane are going to be crucial i mean that's something we've been hammering the uh the whole time is that, and the Jays are playing it. We saw them uh, DFA Yasser Zuleta because they need the players who are going to win now. Who knows how long Vogelbach will be on the team for? Maybe, hopefully, long if he obviously performs well. They obviously have Brian Servin because of Danny Jansen's injury. They had to make a lot of different moves there, but I mean, these next ten games in ten days, or I believe it's ten days, are going to be maybe there's one off day in there are going to be extremely crucial for the Blue Jays. Like even this game, obviously it's early, blah blah blah. This game today is going to be very important for the Blue Jays. Obviously starting off the season. And, and we've won four straight opening days. That leads the current league uh, in that, I believe. So if we win this one, then it'll be five opening day wins in a row. The the Rays are the favorites. Also, if you're new, hit the like button. Let's try to get to uh, to 30 likes. But Peter, I don't know. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, this is the biggest uh, this is the biggest question mark season for me since I mean, the past like couple years. I don't really know. Things could go. I feel like the the ceiling could be higher, but the floor could be a lot lower depending on. Uh, what kind of happens here with this team because I mean we could see positive we'll see some positive progression from the offense but we could see some regression from the pitching staff even if if that's just in the form of health which we've already seen right now is kind of happening well the number one warning sign for me is when Mo is being negative (laughs) about the team that that's that's the number one warning sign for me because Mo is usually a glass half full type of guy and now he's taking the under on the win total so you know what Maybe everything we've been saying about this team is wrong. Maybe it's time to throw in the towel if we're Blue Jay fans. But but no, in all seriousness, uh, I, I want to start the season off with a positive outlook because at the end of the day, it's baseball and it's so random and we just don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. Uh, we The Yankees were supposed to be... Uh, 
the greatest show on turf last year and they missed the playoffs. They, they looked like a shell of themselves. So you never know with injuries, you never know with, uh, with just consistency of, of your players. So you got to let the games play themselves out. You, you have to, uh, you have to wait and see. It's a long grueling season. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint, but these first 10 games are going to say a lot about this group and whether or not they're going to be able to, to compete and shout out shout out to let's get gaming another season opener going into work early to watch i'm calling the offense to load go jays go thank you gaming for some reason the animation the, the donation animation is is not working but i'll get that going for the next stream. thank you so much gaming going to work early yeah i'm calling the offense i feel it as well positive vibes i feel positive vibes mo said i'm jaded had a rough year everyone sent some some positive vibes to momo hope you're doing well it's good to uh, hear from you again it's been a while and uh, hopefully you're, you're doing well. And thank you for, for tuning in. Mo also yeah, with the 20. You. We actually, thank I don't have it available, you. but Mo, we do have a surprise for you. And uh, I guess I'll have to do it next stream. We do have something uh, something for you there. So uh, I'll say, I'll even send it to you off camera and I'll show you what it is. But thank you so much, Mo, for the, the 20 as well. Good vibes, Peter, going into uh, to the first game here. Good vibes. Thank you so much. The donation thing is not working, so yeah. it's, I, I've had a busy week, but I'll, I'll fix it for the uh, the next one. Yeah, thank <coughs> you guys for all your continued support. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully this donation money can go and, and take care of that cough of yours, Nick. I it's mean, been rough. It's, uh, it's been what, rough. What's, what's going on there? What, I, uh, what's going on there? I'm sick before opening day. I'm trying to mute up and cough in between, but it's you're giving, uh, you're giving that microphone hell. I know. Heading into opening day, it's getting, come on. It's Come getting on. rough. It's getting Get it rough. together, man. <laughs> Figure it out. But, uh, Mo, I'm glad. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're in here and uh, and, and doing somewhat better. Let's just hope. Uh, just hope that this translates onto the field. Let's hope the good vibes uh, carry over into opening day here. And uh, again, we we appreciate all the support that you guys give us. We love each and every one of you, and, and thank you for tuning in in the middle of a week. Uh, in, in the middle of the week here, I, I know it's a special day. It's a very special day. day. Shout out Thursday, everyone in here. It's Thursday and it's three thirty, and and we have a pretty good amount of people in here already. So that's very good. That's very good. Thank you. Take it easy, yeah, Mo. It's uh, I've had it for a couple of weeks now, but I'm starting to uh, it's starting to get better. Um, I'm, it's at the tail end of it, which is good because opening day, I might be doing some some yelling today while I watch the game. Hopefully, in a positive direction uh, as uh, as the game goes. Uh, the best nation is Mo Nation. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, um, Peter, I'm going to hide your camera just for a second because I'm going to try to see if I can get this this thing here from... Not your internet's good, just so I can see if I can get this for Mo on the fly here. Mo, we do have something. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, the best nation is Mo Nation. Um, how is every? Give me your predictions in the chat while Peter is getting his uh, his stuff figured out here. Give me your predictions in the chat for the Jays' uh, first ten games. Give me your record prediction. Shout out to the seventy plus in here. If you are new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do all that good stuff. But give me your win total projection uh, over and under all the all that good stuff uh, there. I, I want to see what you guys are. Are thinking regarding uh, your over under kind of for the 10 games or you can just do your record predictions would also uh, work as well would also work as well as we're waiting for Peter to, to come back which will be very very shortly and we also have something else to do for you guys but you four and six okay Mo, okay four and six is interesting so keep in mind it's against the Rays the Astros the Yankees in that order six and four I was talking with my friends yesterday and I basically said six and four is kind of the goal I feel like six and four for the first 10 games, given our bullpen, given all that would be pretty good. Four and six is probably could end up being realistic, but I don't know. I want seven and three, but at minimum seven and three would be phenomenal. And Mo, I do have it here. John saying five and five. Um, yeah, five and five. I mean, realistically, my prediction is probably, I think five and five. I'm going to go, I'm going to go optimistic. I'm going to go six and four. I'm going to go six and four. What would we, be happy with anything better than we have three and seven from Kenneth Lau. If the Jays go five and five, we'll be satisfied. Peter, I think you are back here. I got you. Hold on. All right, I got your camera back. Hopefully, it's uh, it's a bit better there now. I also got the uh, the the animation for Mo Mo, which I'm gonna show since Peter just came back right now. Mo, obviously, we we worked on this, or I guess Ben worked on this. But we worked on this out, off uh, off camera, and we got a uh, animation for you. Obviously, you supported us more than everyone supports us a ton but you you go out of your way so we're going to throw this up here mo 
And uh, this is uh, this is for you now for your future donation. You have a mo bomb, and you can see <laughs> it's called the Super Mo. So get some get some love in the chat. Get some love in the chat for the animation we got for Mo. Mo, we worked on that during the off season. So thank you for your support. And it worked out. You just donated as well. I'll throw it up one more time for you all. Let's get some uh, some love in the chat for, for Mo. But I just pulled it up on the fly. I was able to grab it. That's good. I love that. I love that. And and Nick, I know uh, you were talking about the first ten games, right? Like the the start. Uh, so I'm I'm seeing a lot of three and seven, four and six, five five, and that's okay. I, I mean, this is uh, this is a gauntlet. This is a gauntlet of uh, of a ten games right here, yeah. right? So they're starting with four games against Tampa, uh, three against the Astros, if I'm not Correct, mistaken, yeah. and then four four against the Yankees. So that's those are ten games against. Arguably, the, some of the best teams in the American League, right? And f- I think five and five, that is fantastic. Yeah, that is fantastic. I think six and, and four should be the not... the kind of goal, but I think five and five I'd be happy with as well. And ten and zero oh should be the goal. Well, yeah, ten and zero oh should be the goal, of course. But we know you're not going to go 162 and zero oh over the course of a regular season. But five and five, I think that's that's really good, and that's maybe. It's not the sexiest number when you're just looking at the win loss column, but five and five, you're going back home to open up your season uh, on at home at the Rogers Center against the Seattle Mariners. I think that's a good number, and I think a lot of fans will be taking that. Yeah, no, I agree, and uh, most of this is awesome. Thanks, lads. No, I mean, most of the least we could do getting something like this going. So thank you more than anything. Campus hurt in Houston doesn't have starting pitchers. I'm surprised Schneider made the team. Thought Lucas would make it. Yeah, Schneider just showed that stuff at the major league uh, level. Seven and three is, I'm uh, I can't wait to overreact in our post game videos to to little wins like I tend to do every single season. I'm ready for the the emotional ups and downs. You're a bit more kind of s- grounded than I am regarding the the ups and downs, but I'm uh, I'm Nick, here for it. You're right though. They're, they're not they're not little wins. They're not because every game counts the same. Yeah. And and we've been reiterating this. The Jays missed the playoffs by one game in 2021. They made it by one game last year. Like that one game in March or April that you blow in the seventh inning or the eighth inning, that could be crucial to you yeah. missing or making the playoffs. So look at that and, and yeah, they're not – every game is meaningful. It's a long season. You got to try to win as many as you can. There's no scheduled losses, you know, especially not in the American League East. You got to try to win every single time you step on that field, and I think that's been the Achilles' heel for this Blue Jay team. They just haven't given full effort every single game. And obviously, you can't win every game. It's ridiculous to think that you can, but you have to try, and you have to go out there and have that killer instinct. And that's what I'm looking for. From this uh, from this Blue Jay team this this year. Yeah, John saying I agree. Lucas should have made the team as a fourth outfielder since Schneider to Buffalo to work on his hitting. I think that might be the option if they uh, if Schneider starts off the season cold. But the thing is, is that they're going to play Schneider at second base against lefties. I would assume for the first while, while uh, Biggio starts against righties, as we're seeing tonight. And I, I mean, I you can see that here. And I assume IKF is going to be the everyday third baseman for for now. And I'm very curious to see how IKF does with it. And obviously, we have Vogelbach off the bench. We have um schneider off the bench you have brian servin who i'm also curious to see how he does i wonder how many games he's going to start i'd say he starts at some point maybe he starts one of the games in this series maybe not it's probably he'll probably get in there at some point in the uh in the middle of the series but yeah i don't know it's a very very interesting exciting time obviously we're about half an hour away from first pitch in theory hopefully the first pitch actually undergoes at the right time and if you miss this this is the roster the opening day roster uh, Yasmer Zuleta, former top prospect, was DFA'd. So, and he got claimed immediately by the Cincinnati Reds, um, which I think I have the screenshot for. Yeah, he was claimed off the waivers by Reds, which we'll get into depth more uh, in the video later today. But I don't know. It's uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. And Peter, give me your. Uh, I know it's way too early, but we hadn't had a stream to do this. What's your predictions for the season? What is your season prediction for the record? Uh, I'm curious to see what the chat says as well. Just the record, the record prediction for the uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. Okay. Um, and chat as well. You go, can feel free to let us know. I'm gonna go 88 and 64. 88 and 64. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some some math in my head here. 162 games. 88 and 64. Okay. So that's 
they went last year they won 89 so you're so i guess one last mm-hmm. one last win i think i'm gonna go with i'm gonna be optimistic i'm fully optimistic this uh this, i'm gonna go 92 wins so whatever the math okay. is whatever the math is for that so 92 wins in 60 Eight, some someone Seven. Some, yeah i'm i'm about to graduate in one week i'm i'm done thinking about math for for a very long time someone in the chat you can do it so if it's not no 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 88 and 72 and 70 90, 92 and 70 for me 92 and 70 it's 88 and 74 88 and 74 sorry about that it's okay. um not a math guy uh, i don't claim to be 99 um, and 63 by shane 162 like that. Woo. Hey. That's where we're going. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Eighty-four and seventy-eight. Absolute. Eighty-four and seventy-eight uh, by Mo. Burshaw was already the everyday left fielder, center fielder. My correction. Uh, but midseason, Dalton Burshaw is your everyday left fielder, and Schneider is your left fielder. You mean Burshaw is your everyday center fielder? So that means that Kieran Meyer has a down year. We can get into some hot takes in a in a minute here, Peter. We should do. The ad read now to get this going for rentals.ca. Do you want me to start or you want to, uh, you want to go for it? I'll rock it. All right. So this, uh, this part of the, and I'll get you halfway through or after or whatever it is, but this part of the stream, if you guys are unfamiliar, I think most of you guys are probably familiar. Rentals.ca has been a sponsor of ours for, I don't know how long now, Peter, probably six months, or it may have been even more than that. Huge, huge supporters. And uh, yeah, and they're sponsoring this one. So a quick ad read. So just bear with us for not that long at all. And as we all know, unfortunately, Peter, Jays fans wanted moves. Shohei Otani was kind of the big guy that we wanted. Didn't ultimately happen. We did make some other moves with Justin Turner. But now, everyone in the chat, if you want to make a move in your life, then Rentals.ca has you covered. And it is time to move. They are Canada's largest apartment hunting network. They are available coast to coast. You can rent condos, houses apartments whatever you want and peter i know you've used them the website's super clean super easy to use you can pinpoint the exact location on the map for what you want to find and they will show you kind of previews of it you've had our your family's had experience with it my brother used it to find his apartment in quebec city it's uh they're great so huge shout out to them for sponsoring this one yeah absolutely they've been a big supporter of this channel it's a very easy website to use and it's not an easy process we know that moving is a tough process on anyone it gets in the way of a lot of everyday things that you're doing and I've had to do it recently I I just moved in uh, to basement unit uh, on March 1st and finally moved in I'm settled in here so that's why I'm starting to get some decent ish internet connection and and starting to have a more normal setup I'm everything feels a little bit more normal to me now and that's thanks to rentals.ca for allowing um, allowing me to find this new place and i couldn't be more thankful to them they've helped myself out and and my family as well and they've been a huge supporter of this channel so if it is the right time to move for you and i know moving is a strenuous process use rentals.ca because they're the absolute best and they know what they're doing over there exactly thank you and uh, there'll be a link in the description uh after this stream it'll be in there some point but you can just google rentals.ca what's up Rashid? baseball is back for 90 plus wins we'll have to make additional transactions during the season yeah so we got some so 162 mo's guess was 84 and 78 mine was 92 and whatever the math is um i think 70 interesting peter let's get and let's let's do what we used to do since we have a bit of time to kill here our hot takes for the season we can you can do two or three and i want to hear the chat's hot takes as well give us your hot takes of the or do you want to do the series just the season the series what do you think the of the year no, no, season season, season. Let's, do, season. Let's, let's get them out of the way now and come back to these and see after so peter we'll start with your hot takes and yeah. uh i mean i have one that i've seen a lot on twitter that I've kind of been rocking with the whole time but let's start with yours and chat let us know your hot takes mo if you're in here let's hear some let's hear some hot takes out of all of you guys in the chat and let's get it let's hear it all right so this has the the chance to age like milk right here because jose barrios is starting today for the toronto blue jays and his last time he started on opening day not so good not so good the last time he started on opening day, but I'm sticking true to my uh, to my word. I said with all the injuries to big time starters in the American League, I think Jose Barrios has a chance to win the AL Cy Young Award. 
put uh, put a little bit of money down on that future bet over there because I believe the value is good. You could still get him at 51 to 1 odds and if he throws a gem today, maybe those odds are not going to be as favorable as 51 to 1, but I got him at that price. I think he's going to have a big time season and I think he's ultimately going to win the award and and I hope he does cuz that would be a be a nice little payday for me. I like that one. Mine is going to be and I've kind of seen it anyways is Versho has a five war or higher that is. So I think Versho is going to have a five war. He hasn't hit that yet in his career. He hit 4.9 I believe in 2022, but five war for Dalton Versho is my hot uh, I guess my first hot take. I don't really only have two two off the top of my head. I might be able to come up with a third. A lot of people are saying 91 and 71. Let's get gaming saying Versho is an everyday center fielder towards the end and Shonda is your left fielder. That's interesting. Uh, so you're, you're a big Barrios guy. I mean, we'll see tonight. You can see that Barrios is starting. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm very big on the Barrios hype train, and I think he's got a big season in him. Obviously, we know how it went in 2022. It wasn't great, but he's been one of the more consistent starters in the American League for quite some time now, and he doesn't miss starts. He's usually healthy, and... He's just got great stuff. His stuff looked great in spring training, and I think it's going to carry over to the regular season. So I'm going with that. And my second hot take, Isaiah Conner Falefa wins the gold glove at third base. That yeah. That's if he gets everyday playing time, I could I could definitely see that happening. He is one of the best. That is a good one. Mine is gonna be I mean, I guess it's not, I don't know if it's it clearly doesn't seem like that high. I guess my ninety two wins was gonna be my hot take, but or the Jays get ninety wins, but I mean everyone a lot of Jays fans seem to think that, but I'm going to rock it anyway. The Jays get 92 wins. I guess a hot take could be the Jays get 95 wins. That'll be my hot take, even though my prediction is 92. So the Jays get 95 wins and win the AL East. That'll be my uh, my hot take because I think the Orioles are going to have a – they might regress a little bit more than uh, some fans may be thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, my, my third one, I'll have a third one here. Uh, Alejandro Kirk wins the Silver Slugger. Okay. For the catcher position in the American League over Adley Rutschman. Oh, I like it. I, I mean, hot. it is. It I mean, is. It, it's a hot take. We're doing hot takes. We're not doing uh, lukewarm takes here. We're doing hot takes. I'm going bold. I think Kirk's going to bounce back. He had a really good spring, showed a lot of power, a lot more power than he had last year, and he looks ready. Looks ready to go. He's going to get a lot of playing time, a lot of at bats. Why not? Mine, Justin Turner hits 35 home runs. Hits 35 home runs this season, even though he is 39. And who knows how much he'll even play to get to that point. But my hot take is 30 or 35 home runs for Justin Turner. And I'm curious to see hot take. Bo steals 30 bags. Vladdy hits 49, but not 50 home runs. Someone said nice Peter Bold, but possible. It definitely is, uh, it definitely is possible. It definitely is possible. And Peter, before we... Uh, a little bit longer, a little bit before we wrap up. Look, do you want to get our AL East predictions in before we uh, we wrap up the AL East predictions for the Toronto Blue Jays? And I'm very curious to see what you all have in chat as well. But the AL East predictions, Kirk steals five bags. Yeah, that's smoking hot. There's no way that happens. <laughs> it's pretty bold. I think that might have been the boldest of takes in that little segment over there. Uh, the, the one, uh, the standings I'm going to go with, I think the Orioles are going to win the division, and I think they're going to win it quite comfortably. I'm going to go with the Yankees as the number two team and uh, the Jays as the number three, followed by the Rays and then the Red Sox. Okay, I'm going to go. I mean, I have to go with the Jays because I just made it my hot take. Eh, I'll go with my predictions, my actual predictions, which is the Jays. Win, Jays win the AL East, Orioles two, Yankees three, Rays four, Red Sox five. That is mine. So very, I mean, probably pretty hot, but I'm, uh, I'm not a huge Orioles fan. Uh, believer or it's definitely i'm not a raised believer this year at all to be honest with you looking at their roster i kind of they lost class now they lost a few guys they lost they only have i'm actually i'm not going to say that because i'm going to jinx it because i'm looking over on the screen i see the you can't count them out no. you can't count them out you definitely never can't. They, they always they find ways to just win doesn't so, matter who they have on their roster they just they get it done they get the job done and i wish the blue jays had some of those same characteristics that the rays have year in year out but don't no, very different brackets i mean the rays work with a lot less money than the blue jays do and they still manage to be right around the same win total if not even better than the jays on a yearly basis so for a model organization the way that they run things how successful they are so you can't count them out i have them we both have them at number four in our ale standings predictions there 
but I could easily see them winning the division as well. I mean, that's just how consistent the Rays have been over the past few years. Shut up, Bruins. I just by the time of the Red Sox, yeah, Red Sox are horrible. No way the Orioles don't win. Ah, 81 and 81, that would be rough. I have the Yankees, Rays, Jays, Orioles, Sox. Orioles have four. They do have new ownership, so they can extend a lot of their young guys, and so they're going to be a little bit uh, scary there going forward. But I don't know. The Rays, I don't want to be saying this and then, you know, predicting the Rays to be fourth, and then they go sweep us in the uh, the opening series. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think they'll get swept. Uh, I think a sw- uh, split is going to happen here, two and two for okay. the Jays. Two. That's my and- other. That's my other prediction. It's not bold. It's kind of a kind of taking the coward's way out as well by calling a five hundred uh, five hundred record after four games. But it's the I think way that's a good outcome for the Jays. All right, Peter. Any final things you want to go over before we wrap up? The game's a little bit away. I have to go. And, I'm going to go to my buddy's house for it, so I'll leave in a little bit. But any final thoughts? It was a great turnout today. Shout out everyone in here. We're definitely going to do more. Shout out to Rentals.ca as well. Any final thoughts before we wrap up? Thank you, Mo, and Gaming for the donations. We uh, we appreciate those. Uh, thank you guys for your support, for your continued support. Uh, none of this is possible without you guys allowing us to. Uh, to pursue this channel on a daily basis so thank you so much uh, thank you to rentals.ca as well and let's play some baseball let's play ball and let's enjoy this game today and remember it's a long season it's a marathon not a sprint so let's take it one day at a time and let's hope the jays can create some lifelong memories for us this year shout out everyone in here you'll see us for or one of us at the very least for a post game video after and uh, we'll have more streams for you all coming up very very soon so thank you all for tuning in and Yeah, we'll see you guys very, very shortly. Have a uh, good night.